Hi everyone, my name is Brooke Bacon, Marketing Lead at GSI, and I'll be your MC for today's webcast. And I am very pleased to welcome our main presenter, Peter Lopes, Executive Account Solutions with Canon, and Lisa Thorne. She is a Partner and Customer Relationship Manager with Canon. Now, before we get started, I just want to give you a moment to review our safe harbor statement. And now for a quick overview of today's meeting, which will last about 40 minutes. We'll take a minute to go over a couple of housekeeping items as well as provide a brief company <laughs> overview. And then I will turn it over to Peter and Kelly to get into our, or I'm sorry, I always said Kelly, I'm sorry, Lisa. Lisa, to get into our main um, presentation. And then we'll wrap up with a 10 minute question and answer session. If you would like to submit a question, you can do so through the Q&A panel at the, on, the, on your Zoom dashboard. And please note that all questions will be answered at the end of the presentation. And now for a brief overview of GSI. Uh, why partner with GSI? We are a full service ERP, SaaS, cloud, ITSM, cybersecurity reseller, consulting and managed services organization. And advanced AI and automation are used in all of our products and services to helping our clients to reduce CPO and increase ROI. And we have offices nationwide and partners worldwide, which allows us to offer a 24 seven global support model. And we are the only partner in the industry that you will find that has a 100% guarantee on everything that we do. Thank you so much. I'm going to turn it over now to um, Peter and Lisa to get into our main presentation. Thank you, Brooke. There we go. I assume that you can see my screen. Welcome, yes. everyone. Um, my name is Peter Lopes. I'm with Canon Digital Imaging Solutions. We are a division of Canon USA. I want to thank each of you for joining my GSI sponsored webinar entitled The Guide to Developing an Accounts Payable Automation Strategy. Today, I hope to impart to you some useful information on how to develop an accounts payable automation strategy. Now, let's see if I can get the next slide here. Okay. Uh, I'd like to start by providing a level set on what most accounts payable practitioners are working through on a daily basis nowadays. A recent Institute of Financial Management survey has found that the typical accounts payable practitioner spends 84% of their day bogged down on manual tasks, such as keying in invoice data, shuffling paper, chasing down required information, and responding to supplier inquiries. In fact, the average accounts payable manager also spends a higher percentage of their workday on transaction processing rather than on the managerial tasks they were hired to perform. So if the average AP practitioner is spending 84% of their time performing manual tasks like transaction processing, that means that they only have 16% of the time left for real added value activities, such as reviewing and acting on cash management reports, outstanding liabilities, aging reports, payment terms, days payable outstanding, fraud prevention, and other critical information needed by their company executives. I wanna note that 16% of an eight hour workday is only one hour and 28 minutes, a very short time amount, uh, amount of time to accomplish anything. There are many operational challenges and risks that accounts payable departments face. They are typically intensified in a current manual AP invoice process. As shown in this slide, there are many challenges and the risks presented by fraud and compliance issues, and in some cases can be overwhelming. As a result of these challenges, many AP departments are looking to automate their AP processes or to finish completely automating the current partially automated process. The remote working environment resulting from the current COVID virus has helped to expedite this process. For many organizations, because of the challenges presented by not having access to all the tools and information they had in the office, Let's take a look at the five steps that are key to formulating an AP automation strategy in today's new working environment. 
We'll start with step one, which is optimizing remote working. The challenges of, re of working from home aren't going away anytime soon, if they go away at all. So let's all agree that remote work is some, in some form will be with us for the unknown future. Moving forward, employees may be asked to continue working remotely to ensure social distancing or to accommodate a smaller workplace environment. The success of work from home during the pandemic also may embolden some companies to offer more flexible work arrangements to their employees. And more companies are likely to offer remote work arrangements to recruit new talent to their finance organization. Over time, some companies may even downsize their office space because of the success of their remote working arrangements. A 2021 IOFM survey asked five specific questions to their survey audience of AP professionals regarding challenges of working remotely. As you can see, their biggest challenge was the receipt of invoices and the capturing of data on them. Of course, emailed invoices from suppliers don't present such a difficult problem. However, paper invoices received through standard mail delivery have caused many organizations to send an employee into the office on a regular basis in order to collect those invoices, scan them, and email them to the appropriate individuals for review and approval. This emailing of invoice process only inhibits exception resolution and provides no audit trail whatsoever. And as you can well imagine, tracking down invoices emailed to associates within the company who need to review and approve them can be a daunting task. Many different methods of tracking have been utilized, as you can see here, but none of them are a 100% foolproof solution. And so many invoices get caught up in employees' email boxes or even in their spam filter and hinder the tracking down of invoices that are in process. What is really needed is a means of optimizing the AP process when working remotely. As a result, many organizations are looking for solutions that would optimize their work at home or work from anywhere environments. Depicted in this slide and optimized, automated solutions would include all the components needed to digitally capture invoice information from either emailed invoices or those entered through the company portal and route that information throughout the company so that collaboration can take place. This would then provide real-time visibility into invoice status and provide accountability and security in the process. <coughs> Excuse me. The goal of most organizations is to provide for touchless processing through automation of the AP process. So now let's take a look at how this can take place in step number two. When talking about AP automation, there is a four level continuum of AP automation that is referred to in many discussions. Referring to the information on this slide, let's look at level one. It is a totally manual AP process, entirely paper-based in a decentralized or disconnected environment. Level two is still a manual process, but with the support for imaging and is only partially decentralized. Level three has the ability to receive invoices from multiple streams, email, mail, whatever. OCR technology is deployed and with some manual assistance for keying information, an automated workflow and matching to PO, automated communication and supplier, automated reporting in one centralized and connected environment. Level four depicts the best in class automation, fully electronic, exception-only based processing, a self-service portal, real-time automated reporting, and if needed, a shared service supported environment. Since best in class is what most organizations who automate aspire to, this slide shows a number of key capabilities that differentiate the best in class from all others. I have highlighted two capabilities out of the seven on this slide. First is three-way matching, and the second is straight-through processing, two key capabilities to becoming a best-in-class 
automation environment. <laughs> Excuse me. In order to attain this touch-free processing, besides automation of the process, the need is to make reducing the number of exceptions that prevent touch-free processing a very high priority. In order to attain this goal of reducing exceptions, besides working with suppliers to reduce their errors on submitted invoices, having a solution that utilizes self-learning through the application of artificial intelligence will help to reduce those exceptions on a permanent basis. This is a must in a best-in-class environment. The scan and capture capability is also a key capability of an automated solution and can dramatically reduce exceptions through intelligent scanning, scanning and prepping the invoice received to aid OCR in the reading of that invoice, capturing the correct data necessary for processing the invoice, and providing quality assurance by validating the information on that invoice against the master data in your ERP system. So in order to reach the nirvana of touch-free invoice process, an organization needs to eliminate data silos by ingesting invoices from any source, ensure data accuracy by extracting and validating data from ERP master data, and three, provide 360 degree visibility through the automatic updating of the ERP system. <coughs> Step three is to now accelerate your workflows by eliminating the practice of emailing invoices for real-time automated workflow capability. Excuse me. The slide, this slide refers to the need for organizations to have flexibility in their P2P process as shown in the responses to this shared services survey. The emailing of invoices around the company does not provide flexibility in the process, but instead inhibits con continuity of the process and therefore eliminating any and all flexibility of, the, of that process. Using emails instead of automated workflows can only add to the complexity of automating the AP process. Using emails to route invoices around the organization is risky business. It can lengthen the approval and review cycle, not contain much needed information, have confusing business rules, and if any, and ultimately contribute to the loss of invoices. <clears throat> Having a long and slow approval cycle caused by the emailing of invoices is a real problem in many organizations. It can lead to a backlog of invoices that are now past due. This would eliminate any possibility of taking advantage of any early payment discounts and because of subsequent late payments, could strain your relationships with your suppliers and cause the inability to rectify cash flow requirements in the long run. This slide depicts a condensed view of the overall process and the role of exception-based workflows in a flow-through environment. Scanned and captured data from invoices received through multiple channels is matched against the master data in your ERP system. If the data captured matches properly with the originating PO and receipt of goods if that's required, then straight through processing can occur. If there's not a complete match and there are exceptions, then exception workflows take over to empower the resolution of those exceptions by automating the communication and facilitating the support of your business rules. Step four is to prioritize and support your visibility into the process and do it real time. Most AP departments see the value of real time visibility into data or business intelligence as either important or crit critically important to their financial operations. There's a great deal of intelligence to be garnered from invoice data and an automated solution can provide access to that critical information in a real time mode thus improving performance and facilitating the achievement of your company goals. Nothing like a transition slide, huh? Real-time access into critical AP data is paramount 
to any organization, both from standard reports and ad hoc reporting capability. Management needs an easy access to information with drill down capability. And most importantly, a graphical interface that can quickly show the current status and achievement against the relative KPIs, excuse me. The final step in this process is step five, integration of the AP data with your ERP system, and possibly the most important of all. As this slide identifies, the majority of automated AP processes are not happy with, the, with this lack of imperfect integration with their ERP system, leaving out the major key to a successful automation of the AP process. An automated AP process that is not integrated with the company's ERP system is a solution in a silo and will still require human intervention to deliver that information to the ERP system and its financial solution. The results of poor integration without bi-directional integration with an organization's ERP system, true AP automation does not exist. It's critical for the success of an AP automation project that proper attention be paid to the integration with a company's ERP system. Poor integration is as bad as no integration and could even actually be worse. <coughs> Excuse me. Starting with the matching of key data that OCR extracts from an invoice, such as supplier information, PO number, PO line item detail, and more, it's critical that this information from an invoice gets verified at the very beginning of the invoice process, or an inaccurate invoice could end up being processed, one that doesn't agree with what's in the ERP system. At the end of the process, integration with the ERP system to generate a transaction and accounts payable is also key. For AP needs correct information regarding the invoice being processed in order to pay the voucher correctly. With good integration to an organization's ERP, critical information regarding invoices would now be available throughout the company and available as soon as the transaction takes place. In effect, successful ERP integration facilitates two-way data sharing by synchronizing data across all business units and other business applications that need the information from a processed invoice. The previous five steps that we covered will now provide you with what you need in order to start your automation journey. Let's take a look at that. <clears throat> the best way to start this journey is to create an action plan an action plan that will enable your long-term strategic goals, streamline your short-term tactical goals, and of course, automate the transactional accounts payable processing that we've been talking about. The solution for automation of AP transactional processing is a fully automated invoice process. In this slide is a graphic example of the automation process in Canon's AP automation solution. First, incoming paper invoices are scanned into a file folder. Oh, excuse me, don't let it go on. <laughs> and invoice, invoices coming as email attachments to a monitored email box are identified and automatically captured and their data extracted. Information is analyzed based on business rules and key information such as supplier name, invoice number, and light item data is extracted. PO-based invoice information is then validated against the corresponding open purchase order and processed through the organization's approval workflow if required. Non-PO-based invoices are automatically routed through the designated workflow for review, approval, and GL coding. Default codes can also be set up by vendor if so desired. When the invoice information is successfully verified, a voucher with a link to the invoice image is automatically created in your financial system. The image of the invoice is stored in the Canon system 
and an audit log is created. Analytics allow users to examine spend information and provide valuable insights into the company's financial operations. There are many benefits to be realized by automating accounts payable process. A few of them are identified on this slide and come from real results from our customers that have achieved through the automation with the Canon solution. Let's look at a few of these. First of all, the significant reduction of paperwork an improvement of the accuracy of information acquired. Empowering fast automated approvals, <clears throat> easy access to accurate and reliable information on the status of invoices and transactions, support for standardized processes that facilitate better compliance, provides a complete audit trail of all system activities, and empowering an error fraud prevention mechanism. In the current challenging remote work environment, the ability to work more efficiently and collaboratively in a digital world is very important. Canon offers a vast array of intelligent automation solutions that help customers automate their key business processes, such as accounts payable, accounts receivable, and human resources. Leveraging our consulting expertise, best-in-class technology, and consultative customized approach to delivery, we are committed to helping our customers make their business processes digital, secure, and accountable. Canon offers on-premise and in-the-cloud solutions to fit various client needs and IT configurations with capabilities to integrate with most of the popular ERP systems in use today. With that, I wanna thank everyone. If you have questions, please make sure you have submitted them or you can give them over to, to Brooke. In the meantime, I'll give this presentation over to Brooke and wish you the best rest of your day.